Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to deploy a React website to Heroku. If you don't know about Heroku, Heroku is a hosting platform for hosting websites and web apps. And in this video, I'll go over how to create a Heroku account, install the Heroku CLI, which will be needed in order to deploy your React app. And then I'll go over creating a repository for your app and actually deploying it to Heroku. So without further ado, let's start. All right, so first of all, we will need to make a Heroku account. And to make a Heroku account, open up your browser and navigate to signup.heroku.com. And here you will fill out some information in order to create your account. Now, I already have a Heroku account, so I won't need to go through the registration process. But once you fill in your information, you can click create free account and it will create your account and log you into your dashboard. Once you're logged in, you should be redirected to a dashboard that looks similar to this. Now, I've already deployed apps with Heroku in the past, so that's why you see these apps here. But for you, it should be completely empty. And now that we've gotten to this point, we're pretty much done when it comes to account configuration for Heroku. So what we need to do next is install the Heroku CLI. And in order to install the Heroku CLI, you'll need to go to devcenter.heroku.com forward slash articles forward slash Heroku hyphen CLI. And if you scroll down, you'll see these commands here to install the Heroku CLI. And if you're on a Windows machine, then you can install the CLI from one of these two installers right here, depending on your operating system. If you're on a Mac, you can just execute this command with Homebrew on your terminal. And if you're using Ubuntu or any distribution of Linux, then you can run this command right here. And now that I've shown you how to sign up and install the CLI, we can start making a GitHub repository for our app. And we're going to be needing a GitHub repository for our app in order to store the code for our app and also to link our Heroku app to our code. All right, so I have my app on the right here and I have GitHub on the left. And before I deploy or push my code to GitHub, I'm going to show you what my app looks like. So if I go to my app, you can see that it's just a basic React app that just returns hello from React in an H1 tag, as you can see in the code right here. And for those of you guys that already have a GitHub repository, you can skip this process. But for those of you guys that don't have a repository for your app to store your code, you will need to log into GitHub and navigate to github.com forward slash new. And on this page, you're just going to enter in some information about your app. So the repository name, since this is a tutorial, I'm just going to name it React um, Heroku Tutorial. The description You'll basically describe your app, but since this is a tutorial and I want to make this as simple as possible, I'm just going to leave this empty. The visibility, uh, you can set it to either option. I'm just going to set it to private for now. And then you can click Create Repository. Once you click Create Repository, it'll lead you to this page with these commands over here. So what you're going to do is open up your terminal, all right, open up a new terminal, and then type in git init to initialize a git repository, and then do git add and then dot to add all of your project files right here. Okay, so git add dot, and then your commit message is going to be git commit hyphen m first commit. Okay, and then you're going to do git branch hyphen capital M main to set the branch to main. And then you're just going to enter in these last two commands here. So I'm going to set the remote for this repository. So I'll just copy and paste that command. And then the last command is git push hyphen u origin main. So to do this, I'm just going to do git push hyphen u origin main. Okay. And this will just take a while to push all the code. And once you push all the code, you can just go and click on this link right here. And over here, you can see your code that you see right here. All right. So now that we've pushed the code to GitHub, we can make a Heroku app and push our code from GitHub to Heroku in order to actually deploy the app. And I've also cleared my terminal so it's easier for you guys to see. So in order to deploy our app, we'll need the Heroku CLI, which I showed you how to install earlier. So make sure you have the CLI. And what we're going to do first is log into the CLI by just typing in Heroku login. Okay. And I'm just going to hit return. And it'll open up a tab on my browser to log into the CLI. Now, if you have not logged in previously, it might ask you to enter in your credentials. But since I have logged in previously, I can just press log in. And now I'm logged into the CLI and now we can start deploying our app. So what I'm going to do first is create the app by doing Heroku create react hyphen app 
hyphen to hyphen Heroku. All right, so this Heroku create will create the app and this right here is the name of my app. So I'm just going to hit return and this will create the Heroku app. So next we just need to run git push Heroku main and this will push our code in our main branch in GitHub, which is right here to our Heroku app. Now this process is going to take a while, so I'll cut back once the app is deployed. So once your app has been deployed, you'll see this message here that has your app's URL and a message that says deploy to Heroku. And if it says that, then your app has been deployed. And to view it, you can just run Heroku open and this will open your app on a new tab on your browser. And here you can see my app and this app just returns hello from React. And if you look in the URL, it also has the app's name. All right, so now that our app has been deployed to Heroku, we're basically done. And just to recap what we did in this video, we first made a Heroku account, then we installed the Heroku CLI, and once we installed the CLI, we created a GitHub repository to store our app's code, then we created a Heroku app using the Heroku CLI, and finally we pushed our code to Heroku using the command git push Heroku main. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. I hope you found this informative, and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I also apologize for the late upload. I've just been busy with school lately. So with that being said, have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video.